Hi, my name is Heather, and I am an Esmond Books and More team leader. I am here to talk to you tonight about homeschooling, uh, either supplementing or actually teaching preschool through about second grade. Um, and I wanted to share some Osborne books that are going to help with that. So first things first, when you're talking about preschool, and I'm just going to start there. Um, when you're talking about preschool, you're going to want to have a few things like scissors, Play-Doh, um, pa paper, paint, finger paint especially. Uh, stuff to help with fine motor skills and gross motor skills. Um, and kinesthetic stuff, so like maybe even some kinesthetic stand, a sand water table. Um, anything like that that's going to help your, your preschooler uh, really learn how to play well. Playing is not just with other people, it's actually touching and feeling all of the things that they need to touch and feel. Believe it or not, that's actually part of, um, of learning. They need to do things like roll down hills and be swung in swings because that actually helps their proprioceptive uh, stuff that's going on in their brains. So, um, so when you're so the basics, you know, you do need to get a few basic supplies when you're looking at homeschooling for preschool. Um, but then you need to do you need to focus on really the three R's for preschool: uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic. And writing looks a lot different for preschool through second grade than it does for probably third or fourth grade on up. So I'm going to focus on um, on the three R's first, and then I'll go into the other subjects. I'm going to do it fast. The first thing that you need to do is read. Read books that your kids are going to love. Read books that have dual intent, like this one talks about some socio-emotional um, things. Uh, and this one is sciency, and this one has fairy tales. Just read aloud as many books as you possibly can to your preschooler as much as they will let you read aloud to them. They need to develop uh, phonemic awareness, which means the, the idea that, that letters make sounds, like the B says B and the C says K or S. Um, they need to understand that. And then they need to go on to some phonics readers. Ted and Friends and Unicorns and Uniforms are two of our collections that have lots of fun phonics readers in here. This one has a dual uh, intent with it. It's got a little yellow duck to find on every page, um, and it's usually behind the flap. There he is, and that works on visual acuity, which is a very important part of, it's a very important pre-reading skill. This is one of the best books. I think if there were two books I was going, I would get for preschool, this would be number one. Um, and then the second one that I would get would be Farmyard Tales. It has a dual reading intent as well. This book has 20 stories. It's got a CD so they can follow along with it. You can have a timeout. Um, but this is written on a late kindergarten, early first grade reading level. This is written on a second grade reading level. So as they're learning to read, they can read the top to you. You can read the bottom again with the little yellow duck on every page. And um, and it's a fabulous, you know, learn to read type book. But it also has got some, got some great stories in it. So those are the two books that I would really recommend for any preschool or kindergarten class. Um, and then you're going to want to teach them, as they get older, how to actually read. We have something called the very first, or my first reading library, which has got literally 50 books in it. And I'm going to show off three of them to show you how it works. In the first seven books, actually, and they're doubled in here, so the first 14 books, you've got the parent reading part of it, and the child reading something that is extremely easy to read. You want to read this over and over again until they actually have it memorized, for real. Um, and there are puzzles to help with, with that. By the time they get to book eight, after you read it to them a first, the first time or two, they're going to be reading on their own. And by the time they get to book 15, they will have seen all of the 44 sounds in the English language in all of their different spellings. And there again, there's some reading comprehension and quizzes and things in the back. But let me just show you what I mean into all their different spellings. His little blue boat sailed out on the ocean, though nobody saw it in all the commotion. Ocean and commotion rhyme, and as you can see, they're spelled completely differently. So again, this teaches them how to read. Um, and the first 22 books are what's called a comprehensive, means it includes everything, phonics, program. Then you've got level one books, 
and level two books. So let me show you an example of level one books. This is um, Anansi and the Tug of War. This is a classic fairy tale from Africa. Uh, and so that's what they're reading on level one. Um, here's another one from Richard Kipling. Okay. And then you get level two and you, they just get harder and the words get slightly smaller and there are more words on the page. And it goes all the way up through, our first reading collection goes all the way up through level four. Once they are able to read a chapter book, you can start with these great series, Hey Jack and Billy B. Brown, written by the same author. They're great for um, kids with all different learning disabilities, including dyslexia. Um, they pull out certain words and make them bold to you know, figure out your vocabulary words for the week. Um, and they're illustrated, lots of big letters. Great, great series. And then, then it's on to other chapter books in second and third grade reading. So really with Usborne Books and More, you can do a full reading curriculum no matter what age they are. So let's talk about writing. Our next R of the three R's. Sorry, I have lots and lots of things. Um, writing in preschool and kindergarten does not look like writing sentences. It looks like this. It looks like physically holding a pen or a pencil and squiggling to begin with because you have to learn how to squiggle um, and draw you know, straight lines and corners and things before you can draw actual letters. So this is great for pen control. That all, and then you've got some dual um, intent letters. So you're going to copy your letters in this one and all the shapes that the letters make. Okay. You've also got things like first math, where you can count things and add them and so forth. And then as in, and also early ones are going to want something like this where you've got easy mazes and dot to dots and things like that. Okay. Um, and then you're going to get a little bit more advanced. Okay. And then you're going to start um, actually tracing real things. Copy and trace and, and so forth, real things. And this is actually going to be late kindergarten-ish in terms of your ability. Um, and then once you hit um, kindergarten, late kindergarten again, you're going to have stuff like this that takes them through copying actual words. They're going to learn, of course, how to write their name in preschool. But you're not going to expect them to be able to write much more than that, even by the end of their four-year-old preschool year. Um, and it's not until about second grade that they start having the pen control for things like cursive. But Usborne's got you covered there, too. And finally, this kind of does both art and fine motor skills, but it's a really important thing to learn how to do, and that's so. Um, believe it or not, the fine motor skills for sewing are much more advanced than they are for beginning writing. So this is a great way to increase fine motor skills once they hit about first, maybe second grade, depending on the child. Um, so, and they've got several embroidery kits, but this is a good thing to do. They also have wonderful maze books that are actually quite complex and not easy to do. So that involves both some cognitive skills and some good, good fine motor skills there. Okay. So those are some writing tools that you want. You're also going to want to grab a, a notebook that's got big lines and like three lines and then a blank page on the top so that they can do a picture and some words um, once they hit about first grade. But they also have tools for slightly more advanced reading or writing. And so once they get to like third grade, they're going to start really writing and um, things like the thesaurus start coming in handy. And now let's talk about the third R and that's arithmetic. Of course, the first thing that you need to do is establish numeracy. So you need to practice counting and our things to spot series is great for that. 
find 10 of this, and again, it works on visual acuity, find five of this. They do not need to be able to read in order to use these books. But you're going to be counting over and over and over again, and that really develops their numeracy skills. Another great tool that Usborne's got is this learning palette. Let me just show you. It starts with um, simple addition. It also has um, some letter skills. So this one, like the scissors, um, starts with the S sound. So you're going to match it to the S sound and that kind of thing. Um, but it starts with simple addition, and you've got pictures to help you. So one plus four, and then you, what the answer is, is the blue dot, and so you're going to put the blue dot up here at five. And let me just show you how that works. Now you're gonna you're gonna do the um, some dots have holes in them and some don't, and then you can turn over the page and see whether you've gotten it right. Looks like this person did this part right and this part wrong. I think that was on purpose. But you know it goes up through about fourth grade math um, with multiplication and and fractions and so forth. But this is subtraction. And again, this is addition, so it starts really young. There's a kindergarten starter kit, um, and a first grade and second grade starter kit, where you can get like the math centers and that kind of thing. Then you're going to have wonderful things like our Lift the Flap books, and our activity books that help with math skills. And these are gonna be great tools for you if you're at home learning. Um, I wanted to just very briefly touch on science. Um, science starts with books like this, animals, outdoors, exploring nature, um, exploring bugs, talking about the you know seasons and how they work together and weather and animals and all kinds of things. And then it goes to things like your body um, and then, so this is a great kindergarten level body book. This is like first and second grade body book. This would be, I've got a third grade level body book. Okay. And then you've got other things like the lift the flap, how things work. Um, it does simple machines, but it also does, you know, inside cars and things like that. And hair dryers and toilets and things like that, organs. It's great, love this book, great science book. And you're gonna definitely wanna put some experimentation into your child's world. In preschool, that just looks like observation more than actually experimenting, although a traditional one is the volcano where you put um, baking soda and white vinegar and it causes food coloring and make it an actual volcano. Um, but other than that, you, you're not gonna really wanna do too many experiments in, in um, preschool, but this will bring you all the way up through third, fourth, fifth grade in terms of scientific experiments. Terrific book. Um, and then you've got other STEM books as well for the older kids set. Uh, so you can really homeschool well with that. And we've also got you covered with art. Um, drawing for preschool and kindergarten is mostly scribbles until they've got good fine motor skills and then you're going to want to do something along this line and this would be like for kindergarten maybe first grade and first grade through third grade you're going to do some drawing skills and this is a great series this step-by-step -step drawing series great great series and then for music, we've got drumming and keyboard books where they do turn on and off. Oh. And then you're going to do basic rhythm, so like clapping, and then um, and then your basic music stuff. And this has all songs that it teaches you based on the colors on here. And the big keyboard book, which is also wonderful, is just more advanced with this. It's got two octaves and it's got black keys that you use and things like that. Um, so I hope that this was helpful for you. Good luck homeschooling this year or schooling at home if that's what you need to do or choose to do. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks. Bye.